on those boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. We've been doing some Hornets, Hornet trophies, Stealth Hornets, and today we've got an F450 Hornet. Now, before I start, I just gotta tell you, the Hornets have been changing a lot, right, and Hornet trophies. So just so everyone knows, what we have are three tiller steers, Hornet trophies, the four meter, the 420 and the 440. Now, they come as a tiller steer, but we can put a, a console in them. And they are now what we call a Hornet trophy. Then what we have, a F450 Hornet, an F481 Hornet, and an F500 Hornet, like we did, right? And they look like this, and we'll show you inside. Awesome boat, fighter series, one of my favorites. And then we have the Stealth Hornet in the 470, 510, and 530. And they're for your tournament fishermen, someone that's fresh water, someone that wants all those casting decks, someone who spends a lot of time buying tackle because they've got storage out of control. Now, Dan, quickly turn around. That bloke there is what you call a dog lover. Well, have a look at that. Have a look at them all. All of those dogs hopped out of one car. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14 dogs in one car. You can't f can't f it! How many are there? She thinks my name's Dick. I don't know. Anyway, now, so, what we're gonna look at is this four, <laughs> it's pretty funny, but anyway, let's move on. Now, let's have a look at this, 450, this F450. Have a look at the side, right? Beautiful aluminum trailer. Now come down and look at this hull. Come down here, look under here, Dan, because it's really the hull on these F450s that make the difference. Dan's gonna put up the specs, so you can get the fuel and you get it. But look at that hull, because this is what made them, made them famous. And then you've got this pickle fork that increased the front. Obviously, we've gone over the aluminium trailers. You know, this F450, we've got a 70 on it. Awesome thing. Have a look at the specs, and Dan's gonna put the, the specs of the 70 up as well, right? Because that's what we like to do. Now hop in because, oh, you can see at the back. Shine and have a look at this one too. Oh, we're going to do a yellow fin as well today. Centre console. Now look at the back of this Hornet. Beautiful looking thing. You know, you can put any sounders on it. Look back here at the size of the space. Tackle boxes, you know, what we've got there is your isolation, your 10 micron filter. Plenty of room there, you know. Look at this live bait tank. Now this is standard in it. This is a live bait tank, kill tank, wonderful. And then more storage over there. A lot of people use dual batteries here. A lot of room you can put in, tackle boxes, safety gear. You know, and a big casting deck back here with stability. You know, you got the rails there. Just ergonomically good and great fishing room. Really is. These things are a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, have a look down here, because this is an optional extra that we've put in it, because someone that owns a boat like this is gonna want rod storage. And you can see there, and just some touches, look, little bits of sea deck that we don't put on until it rub spots and, and uh, to give a bit of grip. And your paint, you know, because if you buy a painted boat from Quintrex, that you have got keys for all the lockers, rod storage there, and it all goes up. You can fit a long enough rod for all those bass game guys and whatever you want to do it gee you know you can you can go out into any estuary out into out in the port phillip bay if you're in victoria out into western port in victoria you can go into sydney harbour or you can go out into morton you know and then up here so huge big front up here put the electric motor most of the people that buy a hornet have a min coder on it for spot lock and slow trawling you know and have a look, rotary moulded. This is one of the things about tell water. You know, your anchor go up there, you've got shampoo, because you know, a boat like this, you treat like a luxury car. Have a look, you put your batteries in there, right? Because you, you saw, you'll see one of our others. And then lots of storage. Get all your lunch and your ham and pickle sandwiches. Wait! Bloody stowaway. That's Joey again. Bloody Joey. Come on, Joey, get back to work. I've had enough of you sleeping. Get back over there, Joey. Now have a look in here. You can get a detailer in it. You know, all you people smugglers, anyone that wants to chuck someone in a boat, go oh, you get some tackle in there if you can get a whole person. Now look here, a couple of lights, good console, good ergonomic. 
three, four different seat positions, good tell water seats, look down the side, fully welded. A lot of people don't know that tell water do that, you know? Uh, nav lights, rails, not too many rails. Now, good console. Let's have a look at this. Yamaha 70. Dan's putting the specs, like I said, 70s are awesome, we've spoken about them. USB there, your lights, got land gauges on it, drink holders. Let's go and see how this little beauty works, hey? Here we are, Caboolture River. 450 Hornet. I love these things. Look at it take off. You know, I just can't believe how these things ride. So level, so flat. And look at it squirting it out. I always say this about it. You know, this new fighter hull. It's so stable. Oh, there's the dog lady. You know, she still thinks my name's dead. Look at all these dogs. All come out of one car, you know. I've never seen nothing like it. I'd never lend her a car. Now, look at this thing squirting along. It's just soft. It squirts it out. I've told you, Hornets are just one of my favourite boats of all time. And anyone that's been in one, they are. You know, they're just soft. It's dry. You know, oh, I'm not saying you go to Tangaluma, but I probably would have as a kid. They turn. Look at the thing turn. And with it a 70 Yamaha on it, it's just quiet. It's soft. It's got more than enough power just to put it on the plane, keeps it flat. And, you know, the, the stability of it, the build quality is like none other. Have a look at this thing. I hop out, there's some fish. I'm stable. You know, I'm 110, and that's on a good day. And look at me walking around. You know, it's unbelievable, these boats. And at this thing, I just go, how fast does it go? You know, at six, I can do over 50 kilometers an hour in this thing. It's not using any fuel with an F70. It's incredibly quiet, it's soft. You could go all day trawling. You know, the Minn Kota, I'd put one on the front if I had a quality boat like this because they're just awesome. You know, and the Caboolture River along here is beautiful. There's old dog lady, she's awesome. For some reason she still thinks my name's Dick. She's waving at me now, you know. Hated me to start with and now she's in love with me. You know, probably worked out that I got boats. I don't even know how she got up here with another boat. Now look at this, look at this little inlet here. And this is where I'd get if you're up north, if you're in the mangroves. You know, and you'd spit, you throw lures in there. Look at this thing go now. You know, I put the metal down. We do 50. I'm only doing 45 at the moment, but watch how this hull works. I'm gonna show you what it does, because it sits flat. And I'll go into a circle. Holy crackers. It's actually turning a lot faster than I, I thought it would. It's been a while since I had a 450 on it. No wonder I like them. This, whoa, check this out. Have a look at the curve. Look how tight I can put that into a curve. Now, I'm not scared, because that's because of the R&D. The Quintrex do, you know? We know that this thing's rated to a 75. I just put a 70 on it because of that weight. Don't, whatever you do, don't put one of them black anchors. They're too heavy, you know, and they're just, uh, anyway, don't talk about that. These F70s are awesome. Look at this, I'll do some circle work, some figure eights. Now you do that in your boat. You go in the mate and see what happens. One you'll get, one you might fall out, and another one you'll get wet as a shag. You'll be cold as a fog, especially if you lived in Victoria. I'm sorry if you do live in Victoria. You know, I used to live down there too. This got a good snapper though. And have a look at this thing. The drone's wonderful. Hopefully it's picking us up. Because I'm just trying to show you what this boat will do compared to other people. You know, if you're just driving along, it is soft, it's dry, it's responsive, it gets on the plane straight away. Really is a top quality boat that you'd be proud of. You know, you'd be proud to own this. Anyone would. It's called a trophy, because it's a trophy boat. Look at here, I'll get round that boy. Hopefully the drone's got me. It's probably back there. This thing is super. Do you get your boat? Have a look at it. Doing figure eights. This is gonna be awesome footage, Dan. And it's showing the boat, not listing, not carrying on. We're all not getting wet. And that's what you want. Quality, reliability, and the backing, you know? The biggest outboard manufacturer in Australia, the biggest boat manufacturer in Australia, the biggest dealer in Australia. You can buy with confidence, buy quality. If you're thinking about a boat, call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. We'll put you on the water. We'll pick you up at the airport. We'll actually do anything you want to do. You know, because that's what we do here. And that's why we're famous. We're famous for deals. We're famous for, ser for service. 
they're just bloody famous. If you want to get famous too, own a, own a trophy and I'll see you on the water. <laughs>